What's going on guys? So today on this Shoki third party transformer masterpiece if you review <laughs> we're continuing on with the Zeta Superion collection here or Superiotron and we're gonna be looking at their Fireflight or Flyfire, I believe is what they called him. And he's gonna be the red one. <laughs> he's actually one of the arm bots in this configuration because with Zeta they just only do the one thing. <laughs> There's no uh, other thing so he's like one of the weird ones because like he looks like a rescue bot kind of you know he's all red and white and everything like that it looks a lot like he should belong with ratchet uh there is a nice repro label here i put on the shoulder uh, i did that in one of the vlogs all of the uh all of the logos are on them from there so um this one is the most qc problem one period out of the whole group there's one that has an also qc issues we'll look at it eventually but this one in particular is the worst due to this piece in particular this is actually the incorrect piece for this rope for this one because instead of being mirrored so it should be the opposite of this one it's the same as this one and i've instead of just filing for trying to replace the part or even the whole robot, which is probably gonna be really impossible. I just modified it. I'll show that off as we go through the review because it really only kind of comes into play for combined mode. Even in jet mode, it's really not that big a deal. So let's take a closer look at him here. You got a nice white molded head there with silver derpy derpy face. He's like, oh, what's that over there? What is that? So silver derpy face with blue eyes, which is cool and all. Turn this light ever so slightly. Here we go. And then we have translucent bits here. All of this is painted white, if I remember correctly. I believe that's all painted white. Kind of hard to tell. What's well, interesting down here, this is actually blue painted under the translucent, which is cool. Another little springy bit in the crotch for flight stand that I don't have. Uh, white thighs down here, red bits poking out. Translucent parts over some yellow paint, you got some tampoed warnings there on the knees, silver paint for these vents, which looks very nice, silver paint in here for like these hydraulics and stuff like that, I dig that, um, the legs, the leg wings, you can just figure out the best way to do it for you, I've got them like this, and flatten them out a little bit more, I currently have the wing missiles on here just for storage sake, those obviously come more into play in jet mode. So there's your wing missiles, a little silver bit of paint there. And he very clearly has at least two quarters, possibly half, of a jet on his back. And he's an F4 Phantom, which was actually one of my favorite jets growing up. So he's got his thrusters here, he's got his tail fins, cockpit, all that extra detail work here. And a big black nose cone up there, which is pretty cool. Though with these these bots comparatively to Silverbolt have huge backpacks. That's you know a good chunk of their body. So you just gotta do what you gotta do as it comes to it. So articulation. Head is on a ball joint. One thing that sucks is that is a super loose connection, so the head will often pop out. So you just gotta be careful with that. Shoulder is the same as Silverbolt's was, but with no ratchets, so you can spin it all the way around. You do have this double hinge here to make use of it however you want. You can't oh, stay there. Suck the shoulders up. I do wish the shoulders could come up a little higher. I feel like they're a little bit low for what they are. But you can extend it out to get the 90 degrees you need. It feels like there's just a little bit hanging on there, but it could probably extend a little bit further. You got bicep rotation here, and you can see I've, I've messed up the arm and all that. You do get a double jointed elbow, which is good for transformation and actually doing the thing. And then you get an external elbow that wasn't necessary because it fell apart on you. So minor transformation here. Just sort of tuck that back in there so you can get the actual elbow to work. Nice tampo detail here on there. Nice danger logo. And then all this is what I assume is all pearl coated and you come down to the hands, which are on a swivel. And then you come up with the same individually articulated fingers. They really only use the base knuckle and, this, and the second knuckle to do things. So they do everything at you know sharp angles. And then the thumb, the thumb is on a ball joint that will always pop out. There's like that. I mean, that was zero effort. That wasn't even prying against anything. 
I have had issues with this one in particular and one of the other uh, darker colored bots as well. So let me try to fix the thumb like that. And it's just, I'm going to call it mold degradation to some degree. So just real quick, he has his gun. It's painted nicely here with the blue paint, stuff like that. It's cool mold and it plugs into the hand like so. Moving down to the waist, you do get waist rotation. It's only slightly hindered by the backpack, and I say slightly because, well, you can still do what you got to do. But the backpack has a hard time staying together. It's staying mostly together, but I've never got it 100% tabbed. You can get the front skirts up and to about to there because it won't go up 100%, so you can't get a full front kick. You can get to there and I believe it's just a single jointed knee good for 90 yep and then no real side skirts to speak of so you can go out to the side for a full Jean-Claude and if you want you can just negate the wings entirely and have a good looking clean bot like that and you know what I'm gonna say it that's fine it's like having having the wings removed is perfectly fine in my opinion so come down to the feet. These are really weird because they have a rocker built in there, which just blop does that. And then it's on a hinge there. So, I mean, it is what it is. You've got no kind of heel spur to help you out. So you're just, you just got to find the balance. And considering the backpack that are on these guys, the fact that they don't have a heel spur is kind of annoying. You also just have this big hunk of jet part hanging out there. So nothing you can do about that. So now, let's do some comparisons. Straight out your knee. And I'll bring in the Combiner Wars version of this guy. And, well, it's got some of the same details. Now I just realized, you know, we've got some blue paint here and then blue paint there. But all of this is weird. Now, I know there's one weird difference that that's on his arm. It should be here on the chest, but this is not a flat piece, so I couldn't just put it there. Uh, he's also got dark paint here. This is yellow paint. Now, this isn't a one-to-one -one comparison. It's just the only other version of these guys that I have. And in this case, he takes the rear of the jet and puts it down here, and the wings stay on the backpack. This is, you know, the reverse of that problem. But you can see here, he's got a mouth plate. He's got a full face. I like the silver paint on there, but that's the only thing I like about that. So... There we go, and then for a very similar colored bot that's way bigger, there it is with Siege Jetfire. And the stand flat, and you can see he's Jetfire is way taller. And we'll bring in his big boss bot with. Silverbolt. So you can see Silverbolt is a respectable size difference. Like, you know, he's not towering. And that's one thing that, you know, I, I discussed with Rodimus. And we'll see when it comes to the uh, Combiner Wars jet uh, aerial bots. Silverbolt would have to be double this size to do the other job that he's got to do. And that's that would be a bit ridiculous when he's only that much taller. I think it's a pretty good comparison. Also, I forgot, but I need to make sure I get the G1 counterpart over there. Hopefully, I'm going to scooch it. There we go. G1 over there, just to see. You know, he's, he's fairly similar. Obviously, some details with the, with the way this one works out is a little bit different, but for the most part, yeah, totally works. He's got the red, he's got the white. Obviously, like I said, the Autobot logo is not in the right spot, but it is what it is. So, let's move on and uh, transform this guy. Alright, so, of course, now the slight awkwardness of hey, the background changed. Can you tell how I'm doing things yet? <laughs> and, of course, before we get to transformation, we got to make up for a mistake. And I forgot to bring out the character card there for Superatron. Firefly, it is this nice thing here, beautiful box art, chromey Zeta logo there, which is cool. And then on the back, you get all the juicy details, 
which is pretty cool, you know, both modes as well. So we're going to transform this guy. And I'm going to tell you now, it's going to annoy me. I'm going to pull off the missiles temporarily because I'm going to be finagling this thing so much. I feel like they're just going to pop off anyways. Also, that's really hard to get out when those are like that. Um, yeah, so what's really dumb about the way I did this is I should have gone from uh, flight mode to bot mode to combine mode because that actually makes the most sense. But you know what? Screw it. <laughs> okay, so let's start with the arms because they're easy. At least easiest. Turn the hands. Compress the hand. I think we want to do this number. It's kind of stupid the way that that works. Oop. Come on. And then you want to compact the hand. Nope. Okay. That's not right. Let's do it that way. Compact the arm. And then close. Close. I'll get it eventually. One of these proper directions is how you actually... No, but seriously. How is this not? Some minutes later. You have to have the hands where the knuckles are facing down to even get the arm in. That took so much struggle. It was super annoying. Okay, so basically this number the way I kind of already had it. You just really have to rotate it until you can get that down. Compact the arm like so. And there's your arms in that mode. Now go ahead and pull the head up. And we want to move these flaps. There's me spudger. There's me spudger. Like that, and like that. And then go ahead and pull the chest open, which is slightly scary, but you know, it is what it is. And we don't need to mess with anything here, so I'm trying to remember. I guess we just, how do we make the head disappear without making that do a thing? Okay, so. We want these to go inside. <laughs> the arm bots are the worst when it comes to some of these transformations because clearance is not the name of the game with these guys. So I'm gonna extend that, pull this inward past itself like that. And you want that to come to the inside. That's not easy. You gotta get past the screws, you gotta get past these hinges. You want that to come to the inside. Oh, so by the way, as I mentioned earlier in the review, this is what you have to modify. So this part was in here, and I say you, I mean me. So to make them match so that it'll work, I cut the part off of here and I glued it here. And then so far, it's doing pretty good. And like I said, I don't, I'm, my brain is just going like, hey, do I have to even do this? Because I'm thinking, like, how do I get rid of the head? But you don't, right? I might have... This is one of those ones where I might have to construct or uh, consult the instruction because I think there's something different about this one. Okay, so we want to... bring the arms in, which is nearly impossible so you want the arm to be as flat as you can get it and then these would normally tab in right there so this one does not do it this one does like that let's see here can I get that to clear you just gotta sort of force it past there like that. Oh, oh. <clears throat> ah, 
that is so uncomfortable, if you know what I mean. Okay, so now these two parts are just sort of clearanced right into there. And then this will close. So I'm guessing the head, if I remember correctly, just turns around on this one. I think this one is not one where the head tucks away specifically. I think the bit here. So for the backpack, we need to just kind of break everything down and apart. So the complicated part here is that this is layered over that, which is layered over that. And then actually there's these two tabs that are here that should go into there and they don't necessarily do that. Oh yeah, he totally just hides his head the combiner way, which is so funny. Okay, so if we want to say that it's scaringly because I'm not sure. We need to rotate these vents this way or else you won't get anywhere. Then you've got tabs and posts that are all just going to find their home eventually, right? Seems like something that's right. Yeah, shove that down over that. Tabs, posts. See what I mean? How that really, the part that's missing and messed up really doesn't have an effect on this. And then, yeah, the head just does that. So, obviously, the arm bots are different. I, I haven't, I'm going to say this is really weird. Um, I have more experience messing with the leg bots. And, man, I am just jacking up my set. Like, I guess the way I'm laying my arms down. Okay. So, another part that's kind of complicated is making sure that all of this is in the right spot when we're doing the legs. Now, the legs aren't super complicated to transform, but they're not the easiest in the world. So, we're just going to go ahead and pull the wings off. Go ahead and extend them. Also, you know, I added logos there yeah I'm still wondering if he was meant to have side skirts or not uh, come to the inside and pull this open it's got a little post right there and then the rest just sort of slots into that and now we're going to collapse the knee you have to untab it from here it just clips into that and then the leg just does that number or at least it's supposed there it goes okay yeah it won't just go in there if you don't have it lined up properly i guess we just yeah just tuck that in like that huh? okay and then the The this part, so to speak, is not cooperating. Come on. Come on, buddy. There we go. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. Now, where am I? All right. So, you may as well just start lining things up now. Because it's going to get a little stupider later so this track here you have to get the tabs into as you do it or else you will be utterly screwed so let's get this leg done okay pop the knee loose drop it down and just fold away the foot And we can try to tab the legs together. Somebody's not lined up properly. There it goes. Okay. So if I get one side lined up, we can almost guarantee the other side. Ah, oh, see, look. There's one other tab right inside there, and then this channel that this will go inside. So I want to flip this forward. Fill in the gap. I'll go ahead and drop this into place. Okay, for this, you kind of have to got to sort of finagle that to get that tab into the right spot like that. 
Now everybody is essentially lined up. Yeah. I'm going to tell you right now, that's the easiest time I've had doing that. That was a massive pain the first go around. Okay. Now for the back, it's pretty simple. Honestly, you're just going to bring these two guys down and just unplug them from the back so that they don't do anything. <laughs> Not that it really matters because you're just going to tab that in like that. Not even a real solid connection can fold these guys down uh these were actually on incorrectly when i got them they were wrong side to side if it it's not going to make any sense but you see this you know nice curved edge that's actually supposed to face downward or else these will not function properly it, it's so stupid and then finally the part that really didn't make sense until you saw it in the instructions slide that part forward and now we will bring the wings back and you want it in the forward slot, and then you're gonna use that tab as your alignment tab. And then there's one in the back as well. Just want everybody to line up properly. Like so. See, it's, it's a lot easier if you're not fighting the wings the whole time. Actually, you know what, I think our Phantom's supposed to be tipped up ever so slightly. I feel like there's a design feature for that. So there we go. There is uh, Fireflight in his Phantom mode. And this thing is really cool. So we got the black nose cone down here with a little bitty gun on it. You got ZB01. So he's technically the first one. And then we have warnings and then a ladder right here in front of the intakes, which are painted nicely. And then he's the first one. We get an opening cockpit. Like so, which is pretty neat. Uh, some of the later ones, the cockpit's a little stupid, so you've got the molded in seat, silver paint on top of the translucent. You get like the cautions and maybe the gas fill area like that. It's hard to see them because they're like black on red, but it is what it is. You get to see more of the stripes on the wings. You get the no steps. You get the Autobot logos that I put on there. Those don't come on here. Dangers. And you know what's great about this? This doesn't just look like a robot under a jet the way that a lot of other ones do and you still get a lot of the robot mode stuff but it's kind of hard to tell that that's what it is like just right off the bat you know and you come back here you got the thrusters just kind of a gunmetal-ish color the only thing is these look stupid i get i get it they do okay so he has landing gear you got the ones here that are inside the wings and those are great and then he has one that is up here, which is painted and good. He's the only one I know of offhand that has properly functioning landing gear that isn't a giant pain in the ass to make happen. Okay, so let's grab the missiles. Now that I can. And this is the first time I'm doing this, is actually arming up the the so-called robot. I'm gonna put the missiles on the outside holes out to here. So I believe that is correct. And then you can actually take his gun and he does have these pegs on there. And under either wing, you can just plug it in. Although that's probably not right, judging by how that kind of collided with everything. So let's Huh, okay. Well, it said to do that, and then it just didn't want to. So there he is in jet mode with some cool missiles under him. And since we already have other ones to look at, let's do that after I fix this mess that's happening. All right, so here's the Combiner Wars version, which is terrible in comparison, as you can tell just kind of sucks it's just more reminiscent of the character than it is anything else so woo and then we'll bring him in with big plane you know so clearly we're not trying to scale things properly now i believe that most of the fighter jets and the limb bots are gonna scale to each other but clearly a concord is not the size of that and so that's the one thing where people want to complain is that 
he's not big enough. Well, he doesn't have to be bigger. If he was, then we'd end up with a different type of combiner. So it is what it is. So we'll get ready for combined mode transformation coming up next and wait. All right, so time to get this good old red jet into combined mode. And I'm going to do a thing just for the looks of it. I'm going to pull the wings off. Like, I think I'm probably going to do that for the rest of them as well. Like, you can have the wings on. You can find every which way to fold them up and out of the way. But I'm just going to actually remove the wings. It's an option that I honestly truly appreciate. So I'm going to make use of it. So the funny thing is, much like Silverbolt, you kind of basically got to get him back to virtually robot mode to make use of him. It's not that bad. It's just that you have to get the combiner port out and you have to get the elbow out. And I don't know, we, we might be able to manage it without doing too much. So come back to the back here, which, you know, this seems like a giant waste, right? Oh yeah, we can... I think we can just fold this up. I don't think we need to move this. Mm, yeah, actually, yeah, we do, because we got to fold all this. So that's got to extend back. It's fine. It's fine. And oddly enough, this is where our hand is going to plug eventually. But I'm not going to do that in this video. You kind of have to crack him. Like so. You can actually, there's enough play in these that you can remove them like I just did without really doing a whole lot. It's mostly the tab or the post that goes in up there that's actually problematic and it's going to be the one to give us the most amount of issues. Okay, so the back end of the jet is basically good except we need to split him so that we can get this part out. But then I'm just going to leave this as it is for the time being, because everything else has to happen up here. So we want to, once again, crack that, kind of like an egg. Oh, it's pulling on the head, I forgot. <laughs> it's like, I keep forgetting the head's under there. So with these parts, you want to just kind of rotate them up. I really wish you didn't have to do that, but you know, it is what it is. Oh, that's hung up there. I was wondering what was going on. I was like, that's not letting go for some reason. And then we can use our compendium of hinges here and split open all the thrusters and everybody and we can very cleverly bring these two together actually did i slide that back yes i did okay so here's what i'm talking about you got these two tabs in here and you got two slots there and i have not been able to actually bring those together if i'm totally honest but if you bring this guy back far enough and get that tabbed in and then theory oh my god that is literally the first time i've gotten that tabbed in so that's how you get the backpack for jet mode and that's also how you get the backpack for uh combiner mode so we want to go ahead and pop the chest open just free up the arms you don't really want to remove them but you just want to free them up a little bit because you're going to need this section here that gives us our elbow joint and since he's going to be the right arm we want this part facing inward so what we need to do here is rotate at the waist like so hold on i'm looking at it backwards aren't i yes yes i am okay so the other thing is you have to rotate up here which becomes the bicep so to speak and you got to rotate that 180 degrees without breaking everything else. And I don't know if that's doable at this particular juncture. Okay, come on, buddy. Come on. <sighs> Fucking... There. I did not want to have to pull those open again, but I did. Okay, so to get to the elbow joint, which is here, you got to rotate this whole thing. And all of this is predicated on this one tiny hinge. So for the love of God, be careful. Okay, so you want this facing forward. You want this facing forward. No, outward, like that. This is the inside of the arm. Okay, 
so you don't need to do anything with these. Now we've got our elbow where we want it. Extend this up. Pull the head up and out of the way. Flip this guy up. And we'll bring out the combiner port. Which, if you watch the Taro video for this guy, you'll see how much of a pain all of this was to get together in the first place. And now I'm just undoing all of my hard work. So, it is. It is what it is. Okay. Oh, you know what? You gotta go up and pass because you gotta get the head inside the body first. Come on. Okay, what's wrong with you? Your head's supposed to go through this hole. The tolerances are just shit on this sometimes. Okay, so the head is going to take the place of where the combiner port was, essentially. That was a nice little... Doo -doo 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 -doo. Okay, so we want all of this just to be where it is. Come on. Do, do, do the thing you're supposed to do. Just for once, for the love of God. Okay. So the head is now tucked away in there. We have our combiner peg port thing out. I have a feeling this is all not going to go well if I do it this way. Hold on. Something still doesn't feel right, even though I know that's basically how it's supposed to go. Maybe it's meant to come on top like that instead. You face face your own chest. And the dumb thing is I've done this and I don't know why. Oh, okay, so tuck the head up in there maybe? No, that doesn't work. I swear to God, this worked fine the first time I did it. And it has given me crap ever since. Okay, so I'm just I'm just gonna call it there. That's just that's just it. Oop. That wasn't supposed to pop off. So if there's something you guys are noticing more than anything, it's the amount of stuff that pops off or doesn't fit well. And I think that is uh, symptomatic of the original mold. This thing is supposed to have improvements over the original Kronos mold. Um, if it does, I have not seen them. Okay, so remember the thing I fixed. So this now I have to peg in over here. So we need to collapse the arm again. Like it was. Once again, things that should be clearance better and aren't. Okay. So, this is going to be me trying this for the first time with this repaired part. And I don't know if it's going to work. We'll see. Okay. What is happening? Or something is wonky. It's not supposed to be wonky. See, like, all that should be fitting better than it does. That was a struggle for no apparent reason. I think... You know what? I'm still an idiot. Because this... All needed to be facing this way. <laughs> I was sitting here fighting the thing, and I didn't realize that I'm sitting here pushing against the backpack like an idiot. Ugh. No wonder nothing wanted to fit right. Okay. Are you gonna go now? Okay. So... That new thing does work better than it did because there was nothing there before. Okay, so tuck away the fracking head, which also is probably half the reason nothing wanted to fit right because I had the head in the wrong spot. Still, yeah, 
I'm struggling. I'm sorry. You stick your head into your belly and be happy about it. What's either supposed to come up and under like this and tuck in nicely into there, which would 100% make sense, but he doesn't want to do that. He wants to fight me because he's an asshole. I swear to God I didn't have this many problems when I very first put this together. Hold on. Okay, so this little hinge was a problem. Although I just may have made a discovery that I think he's got the wrong head. Oh, that's weird. Okay. So let me show you this just real quick. That's showing him with Airstrike's head or somebody's. Like, that's not the head I think that I just tried to cram in there. The chest is right, but the head doesn't look right. I wonder if they changed something. I'll have to look at that. So when I get to the next guy, I'll figure it out. Okay, so having this hinge in the right spot got the head to go in there the right way. So all those struggles I was having were happening we're stupid let's just be honest here so half the things i'm struggling with are just misalignments and one little thing in the wrong spot that just drives the whole damn thing wrong you know it is what it is but the tolerances are not forgiving at all like there's very little room for error in this thing so once again we gotta work this into place It'll go. And, you know, given that this one has been the worst of the bunch, I mean, it's it's no surprise that it's the one that I'm having the most trouble with at this point either. That, it's good enough. That is, that is honestly good enough. And then this also popped off on me. Super easy to put back on. So there he is in his right arm mode. Uh, getting that tab on there, fixing this section there, actually gave it a lot more stability. It was coming apart on me before. Um, so there's his arm mode, and just quick comparison to the counterpart. Obviously, very, very different styling, but, you know, still got the red, you still got the white, things like that. So and there's that. So he's in his annoying... Oh, that would be why I couldn't get it all the way. See, little things have got to slide into the right spot. You know, one, you know, one little thing being out of alignment causes three other things to not be out of alignment. You know, it's just, it. I'm so glad I'm not gonna have to do this again. I'm gonna be honest. So I like it, and as a jet form, it looks good. Obviously, this one had the most QC out of anybody. Uh, that was wrong, the part in the wrong spot, clearances just suck. And given that it's all like a red plastic, it's it's kind of scary to manipulate things into the right spot. But like, I want to know why I can't get this. It's like right there, it just won't go together. Like, how did I get it before? No, I can't. Okay, finally. Good lord. That takes it takes way too much force. And considering the only thing holding this place is two little pegs, is what it is. So that's gonna be it for Fireflight, guys. Make sure you come back for the final combiner video, and of course, stick around for the rest of these guys. Um, these combiner videos take a whole lot of work. Please watch them all. And of course, if you're not subscribed, please do. <sighs> So we'll get to Spirion totally eventually. So stick around. Next week we have another jet bot that has become a different arm. Yay for that. I'll see you guys then. And remember, as always, keep on flying.